everybody, this is Ella. Hey. <laughs> Ella will be taking us through a tutorial today on how to sew the mask. We're gonna bind the top edge, the raw edge, with your bias binding. Take the folded mask and with the wrong sides together, fold it in. Press the binding down flat so that you're capturing in the seam allowance. And you should be capturing all the layers here. And we're gonna stitch that all the way. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that flexible wire and we're going to put it into the mask so that we can create a little nose shaping piece to make it a bit more comfortable when you're wearing it. We need to mark the uh, mask with some chalk. And so Ella has just marked the chalk um, here onto the material. So we're going around and we're gonna turn the corner, create the end of the box. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the other short end of the box open. So now we're gonna take that wire and we're gonna just thread it through the binding underneath on the wrong side of the mask. And we're just gonna place it into that little gap we've made for the wire. So now we're just closing that box off. So we're gonna turn the whole thing over, we're gonna stitch it down. Finish it off with a little back tack and that's the binding on the top attached. We trim off the excess binding if you had any, trim it all off now. So now let's make our pleats. So use the notches provided on the pattern. Fold the pleats so that your pleats point down, that's it. Pin your pleats in place. Because we also have cut these on um, you know, a grain that we would not normally cut jersey on, we've cut it on the opposite grain, we're now dealing with the stretchy part, which is the side bit. So we just have to be careful that it doesn't stretch out at this point in time. And we're gonna take care, pin those three pleats down and then we're going to stay stitch that little basting stitch so that it um, holds together for when we put the binding on. So now we've pleated down the three pleats on each side and we are ready to do a nice little baste stitch to hold it all in place. And then we're going to move to the next step which is to attach the open ended binding to either side of the mask. So let's start on the back side of the mask here. And you should have about um, one and a half centimeters left over on either end. Stitching the sides down, using our foot as our seam allowance measure. So now we've got both of those pieces stitched down. We can now turn the pieces uh, so that you're seeing the right side of the mask facing you. Pressing it down with your finger so that it matches the same line as the mask at the top there. And all you have to do is stitch straight across. Stay lining up your stitches with those previously created stitches on the mask and then it'll look nice and neat. And we're now gonna repeat that on uh, the bottom side and on both of the other edges as well. Just trim off any loose threads facing you. Fold in our seam allowance and then fold the whole thing over capturing all of the raw edges of the mask. So we're just stitching along the edge of the binding along the mask, keeping the top and bottom pieces of that binding open so that we can pass that cord through next. Folding in the seam allowance and then folding it again to capture in all the raw edges. You can see the top and bottom um, of that binding are open to allow the cord to be pulled through. So we're stitching that down, back tack finish. Trim off any loose threads that you have. We're using, we're using some ribbing for our binding today. And so we're just gonna show you how we do that in case you wanna to try to replicate it at home. So you've gotta fold the binding in so that the raw edges get captured into the one stitch. You can now thread through your mask. 
So we're gonna thread that through together. Thread the um, string through and down to the bottom of the mask. So this is our mask. And um, you can shape the nose so that it fits perfectly onto the face. So here's Ella holding up the beautiful mask. Thank you for making that today for us, Ella. Thank you.